Hey folks, it's Brian Stevens here with Survival on Purpose. And in this video, I'd like to do a quick um, product review slash just kind of a uh, little inf informational video about the Baco, Baco, Baco Laplander folding saw. And got one right here. You can see it's about that, it's about uh, nine inches long, 10 inches long. It is a uh, folding saw. I bought it off of Amazon for like 35 bucks. It fits right in your package. You can stick it in your pocket. It's really convenient. Uh, it's a little handier than carrying a bow saw around. You can stick it in a fanny pack. Um, I think it's a really great item to have if you're camping or in the woods because uh, you can cut firewood a lot easier with it. You can cut down um, you know, saplings or whatever for your shelter you need to do or just general camp craft. Um, and believe it or not, I've cut a tree uh, about this big around, a dead tree off the ground with this. What I like about it, the blade locks, okay? Um, it came with a leather strap on it. I took it off and put this bright orange piece of paracord on it because if as you can see you can drop this on the ground and it can disappear it's black and green so I kind of wish it was bright orange but it's got a push button lock right here so you just press the button opens up and it locks open um, but I, another thing I like about it is it cuts on the push and the pull stroke so you get t um, twice the bang for the energy so let's do a quick demonstration of it show you I don't want to take a long time to speed I mean it's, it's just a saw for goodness sake you know there's nothing fancy about it it's got kind of a rubberized non-slip handle which I kind of like um, and I'll show you how it works. And I'll get it up in my hand. Oop. Okay, just wanted to show you, it's not rotten wood. Good solid, good solid wood, so. Okay, well you can see how well that cut two to three and a half inch log. And again, it's a Baco folding saw. I want to say a couple things about folding saws as, as you know, I know there are a lot of, a lot of people that are um, of the opinion that maybe the one thing you really need is a strong knife. I believe that, I've got a, I've got a pretty good knife. Um, that you can baton whatever you need to baton, you don't really need to carry a saw. And that's true, you really can, but there's a couple ways I look at that. The first way is, um, even if you got a good knife, every time you use it, you got to you got to take a chance on dulling the edge or hurting, damaging the edge, or even of, of causing damage to the knife. Um, as you batoning is pretty hard on the knife, even if it's a really strong knife. And I've got, I would not hesitate to baton my knife, but at the same time, it's uh, you're taking a risk. You're taking a risk on screwing up your knife, and you're also um, you're losing losing some wood. It's just not as neat. You might need a straight cut, I mean, and the energy you expend. Um, I mean, this is it's 35 bucks, sure, but just not a lot of money um, compared to a lot of things you can you can buy to, to, to use in the woods. But it's also um, really easy to use. You can use it one-handed. If you had if your hand was you know if you had an injury or damage or whatever, um, you can do it one-handed. It'd be real difficult to baton a knife one-handed. Um, so that's just another advantage. You, you never know if you're in a, if you're in a, happen to be in an emergency survival situation, you may be injured. So it's, you can use either hand if you need to cut cut a cut a piece of wood for whatever reason, for whether it's firewood or for first aid or crutches or splints or whatever. So there's several reasons again that I, I think it's a good addition. I always carry a knife. I'm gonna have a strong knife, but at the same time, I'm gonna carry this too every time. If I'm in the woods, this is gonna be in my pack because. It's just a no-brainer for me. Uh, it's lightweight, it's easy to use, and you don't really have, have to have any special skill and you can use it one-handed. And there's probably a hundred other reasons, but those are the ones that come to mind right now. Um, so, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I, um, I enjoyed making it for you. I hope to make a bunch more, and I like to make some more skill videos. I'm considering making some about knots, um, if, if that's interesting to anybody. Just if you would, if, you, if you'd like to see something in particular, leave a, leave a comment below this video. I'll respond to it. I'll check it out. And if I can do it, I will. Um, I appreciate your views. I really appreciate your uh, comments. Your, if you want to like the video, you're subscribing, all that. It really helps me out and helps me, inspire me to keep making videos. And so, once again, I appreciate it. This is Brian Stevens with Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident.